we are feeling confident about our team's ability to increase production quickly. Still, it is important to remember that this is an unprecedented transformation. What you are seeing right now is the exact design of Tesla's most affordable car ever, the Tesla Model 2, which will be officially revealed this November at Tesla's biggest event of the year. Recently, several Model 2 prototypes were seen again in Texas, and a brand new video now gives us the most detailed look so far. At least 20 visible differences compared to the Model Y can be noticed. From smoother body panels and a cleaner sensor setup to a cabin that uses fewer components, every single adjustment is made for one reason only, cutting costs so the final price can reach just $15,990. Elon Musk has said before that the Model 2 is basically a smaller and more efficient version of the Model Y. But new leaks show that Tesla is not just shrinking an old design, it is re-engineering the whole vehicle. It might have a few rough edges at first, but as Elon said, it will be very exciting. You will definitely want to show your friends and say, look at this. This acknowledgement of all the changes has split the Tesla community. Some people feel disappointed about the reduced comfort features, while others strongly support Tesla's keep what matters idea that focuses on lowering the price for more people. The big question everyone is now asking is where exactly did Tesla cut corners and how did they do it while keeping the overall experience good enough for a wide audience? In this video, we will go through all those differences one by one and figure out if a car under $16,000 is truly worth it for what you get. Before we move further, a quick reminder, if you love discovering future Tesla updates and deep insights into new technology, make sure you subscribe to Amp Drive right now. It only takes a second, and you will always be the first to know what's coming next from Tesla's future factory. Let's get into it. As always, Tesla has stayed extremely secretive. The new models are hidden until the last possible moment. Test cars are completely covered from the front bumper to the tail, and even the interior is hidden behind plastic covers. These prototypes have been spotted multiple times on different roads, but no one could clearly tell what was new or changed. That is why most of what we thought about the Model 2 was based on guesswork from Elon Musk's hints and the target price he once mentioned. But this new leaked footage from Texas changes everything. For the very first time, we can look at Tesla's most affordable car up close, removing the fog of speculation we had from earlier glimpses in China and Fremont. From what we see, there are at least 20 major adjustments in this version. In the new clip, the vehicle is still camouflaged, but instead of being filmed while driving, it is parked in a lot, giving us a better view. From the video, the front end and the headlights look almost completely redesigned. Even though some parts of the nose are still covered, it is clear that the headlights now sit higher, and the horizontal LED light strip that usually adds a premium touch on expensive Teslas is gone. On the Model Y, for instance, those sleek LED strips help create a sophisticated and expensive look. But for a car that aims to cost below $20,000, that detail doesn't make sense anymore. Tesla appears to be simplifying things, giving the Model 2 a minimalist look, more like earlier versions of the Model Y rather than the premium appearance of a $50,000 car. Another detail worth noticing is a small camera mounted on the front bumper. This makes sense since Elon Musk confirmed in the second quarter earnings call that the affordable Tesla will still include support for full self-driving. That means Tesla has no reason to remove essential FSD hardware just to save a few thousand dollars. The most debated feature so far is the roof. Many believe that this will be Tesla's first model without a panoramic glass roof. Instead, it will have a solid single-piece metal roof painted the same color as the rest of the car. While this decision may make the cabin feel less open and airy, it drastically reduces cost and improves structural strength. Fans who love the glass roof might feel a little disappointed, but Tesla is clearly prioritizing practicality and affordability here. Even though the rear is still hidden under camouflage, one noticeable change stands out, the signature horizontal light bar seen on the Model Y's tailgate has been removed. The Model 2 seems to be using more traditional brake lights instead. Looking closely, the wheelbase looks quite similar to the Model Y, meaning the Model 2 might not be as compact as many people expected. The 19-inch wheels also reinforce that impression. 
If that is true, the interior space, legroom, and cargo area could be almost the same as the Model Y, which is a big advantage for buyers who need utility and comfort. As expected, the interior remains mostly hidden under covers. Still, a few visible changes can be spotted. The rear seat entertainment screen is gone, and the audio system seems simplified, with no speakers in the A pillars. The seats use fabric instead of vegan leather, much like the Model 3 versions made in Mexico. These are all understandable cost saving measures. Vegan leather usually adds $350 to $400, so cloth seats help reduce that easily. Heating and cooling functions for seats are gone as well. The number of speakers appears reduced from about 15 to 10, which could save another few hundred dollars. The center console design has changed too, it now sits lower and tucked beneath the main touchscreen. The cup holder layout looks similar to what we have seen in the Cybertruck. As for interior lighting, while the Model Y offered colorful RGB accent lights with different color options, the Model 2 goes simple with one soft white light strip, functional and cheaper to produce. Now let's talk about performance and range. How can the Tesla Model 2 reach around 310 miles on a single charge at such a low price? Assuming Tesla really wants to keep it at $15,990 with roughly that much range, the battery becomes the key element. The most realistic choice right now is a lithium iron phosphate, LFP, pack of about 53 kilowatt hours. Combined with smart aerodynamics, lower weight, high efficiency drive units, and optimized energy management software, Tesla can stretch every kilowatt hour for maximum miles. LFP batteries have several benefits, they are cheaper, safer, and last longer. They do have a lower energy density compared to nickel cobalt aluminum, NCA, or nickel cobalt manganese, NCM, but that is not a problem if the car is designed with that chemistry in mind. Many people are asking, what if Tesla switches to aluminum ion batteries instead? Would that keep the same range, and could the price stay below $16,000? In theory, aluminum ion cells look very promising. Aluminum is affordable, safe, and widely available. The chemistry allows fast ion movement, which means much faster charging and strong power output. For a car meant for daily commuting, that would be amazing, shorter charging brakes while still adding plenty of miles. However, the challenge is energy density. Most aluminum ion designs today are still experimental and not yet used widely in cars. Their watt-hour per kilogram numbers are lower than LFP. So, if Tesla used aluminum ion and wanted to keep the same 310-mile range, the battery pack would need to be larger and heavier. That would make the car less efficient and more expensive to build. Tesla could offset this by improving aerodynamics, using lightweight materials like high-strength steel and aluminum mix, or optimizing the motor and inverter systems. But none of that comes cheap. When you are aiming for $15,990, every extra dollar matters. That is why, for now, LFP is the most practical choice, it offers the best cost-to-range balance and fits Tesla's affordable strategy perfectly. If Tesla were to use aluminum ion, they might have to accept a shorter range, maybe around 230 to 260 miles. That could still be fine for daily use, considering that the average American drives around 40 miles a day. If aluminum ion cells can truly charge super fast, like adding 200 miles in 10 to 15 minutes, that could make up for the lower range. Still, Tesla would need to handle many challenges, like ensuring the supercharger network supports the new voltage profiles and that thermal management can keep up. On the bright side, aluminum ion cells are safer and more thermally stable, with lower chances of overheating or fire. That means Tesla could simplify the cooling system and battery safety structures, reducing weight and saving materials. But before that can happen, Tesla needs years of testing, thousands of charging cycles and data on how the batteries perform in hot and cold weather. LFP has already proven itself in millions of cars, while aluminum ion is still in the early phase. If aluminum ion becomes mainstream later, it could bring many advantages, faster charging, safer operation, easier recycling, and less dependence on rare materials.
but for now, using it would likely increase costs beyond the target price. If Tesla sticks with LFP, they can realistically meet both goals, a range around 310 miles and a price under $16,000. If someday aluminum ion matures, Tesla might release a variant with ultra-fast charging and lower range, optimized for urban drivers who charge often but travel shorter distances. Now, about production. The Tesla Model 2 looks almost ready for launch. Based on what we see, the vehicle development is near completion, with no major regulatory or technical obstacles left. Tesla already has the software, self-driving hardware, and strong supply chain to move fast once it gets the green light. When Tesla unveils it, pre-orders will likely open immediately at the event or within a few days. The 2025 reveal will not just be a prototype showcase, it will signal Tesla's readiness for rapid mass production. At Giga Texas, where around 5,000 Model Y units roll out each week, new lines are being prepared to add the Model 2. Cybertruck and the upcoming Cyber Cab will share some infrastructure. Fremont and Shanghai are also gearing up for Model 2 production, and Giga Berlin is expanding capacity to support new models soon. All this means that Tesla could start mass-producing the Model 2 faster than many expect. With its experience in large-scale casting, automation, and logistics, Tesla is in the perfect position to deliver this affordable EV efficiently. Tesla's overall plan is clear, focus on cost efficiency rather than luxury. Instead of adding expensive materials or features that most people can live without, Tesla is removing what doesn't add direct value. Think of it like how smartphone makers create budget versions by keeping the core performance but trimming extras. The Model 2 will likely follow the same logic, a compact crossover inspired by the Model Y design. Early rumors suggested the Model 2 might be a hatchback, but Tesla's choice of a compact crossover makes sense. Crossovers dominate sales in the United States, so sticking close to that shape allows Tesla to use existing manufacturing setups and supplier networks. A hatchback would require new tooling, parts, and assembly lines, all of which increase cost. That is why the crossover body style is a practical choice, it uses proven processes, reduces part complexity, and speeds up production. Underneath the car, Tesla's advances in die casting are key. The Model Y already uses large front and rear castings combined with a structural battery pack, dramatically reducing parts and assembly time. For the Model 2, Tesla plans to go even further, possibly casting much of the underbody as a single piece using a larger press than ever before. This approach cuts costs in several ways, fewer welds, fewer robots, smaller assembly lines, and faster ramp-up speed. It is a bold but logical step if Tesla wants the Model 2 to become the world's most mass-produced EV. Elon Musk has hinted that Model 2's production numbers could eventually surpass the combined totals of the Model 3 and Model Y, making it the highest volume car Tesla has ever built. Of course, we still need to see final pricing, specifications, and delivery schedules to be sure. If Tesla unveils the Model 2 in 2025 but deliveries begin in 2026 or 2027, would you be ready to place a pre-order now or wait to see it in showrooms first? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching Amp Drive. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps us grow and keeps you updated with every new Tesla innovation. Hit the like button, share this video, and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest uploads about Tesla EVs, Tesla bots, and the future of clean energy. We truly appreciate your support and cannot wait to see you again in the next video. Goodbye.